My name is Mariko Kaneda, one of the board members and pianists. Uh, we continue to pay tribute to David Niva, a longtime friend, artistic director, and who was also my husband. So today we have a program with a Hungarian taste or Eastern European taste. Bartok's Romanian dances, Kodai's piano pieces, and Dornadi's second piano quintet are on the menu. You may be wondering why David called it Hungarian goulash, and uh, I think I have an explanation. So he would start working on the season, usually around March, April. So he would be thinking about dates, programs, musicians that he was going to, that he would be hiring. So last March, um, as you know, he already had some health issues and he was on a quite restricted diet. Actually, he could barely eat. And um, he's a big gourmet. Um, he loves eating steak and potato. That, that's the kind of guy he was. And so he couldn't eat, and all he was thinking was, was food. He told me that he was dreaming about food sometimes. Anyway, so you can imagine his mind going, I want to play Dornani piano quintet. Dornani, Hungarian. I want to eat food. And then he goes to Hungarian goulash. Here we are. <laughs> So actually, 2000, back in 2011, we, when we were performing at Central Presbyterian Church, we did a concert very, very similar to this program. The only difference was instead of doing the Kodai, Kodai's piano pieces, we did a string trio for two violins and viola. And at that time, he called it Visiting Gypsies. I thought he was always good at coming up with really wonderful titles. So today's title, you know where it's coming from. You're probably very familiar with other performers today. We have Leonid Palansky, Associate Concert Master of Columbus Symphony, who was one of David's closest friends and colleagues. Uh, Kyusan Han, who is actually a new member of the symphony, and she was also the stand partner of David. And Ken Matsuda, of course, longtime friend, colleague, and he was one of the founding members of Sunday at Central. And we have a special guest today, a wonderful, amazing cellist Keith Robinson from Cleveland, and he actually was at school with David at Curtis. We are very honored to have him today because he has a very busy schedule between performing with Miami String Quartet, Lincoln Center Chamber, Link, uh, Chambers Music Society, and teaching at IU. This is actually his second appearance with Sunday at Central. We performed together Beethoven's Variations and Rachmaninoff uh, cello sonata last year during the pandemic via streaming. So if you're interested, you can go to our Sunday at Central YouTube channel and you can still watch it. So I'd like to share also what's coming up uh, for the rest of the season that David worked on last March. One of the Sunday at Central's mission is to promote local musicians. On January 29th, we are presenting Nexus saxophone quartet whose members, all music educators around Columbus. They will perform a commissioned piece by He Kiang Lee, professor at Denison University, and they will play uh, also Gershwin, Barber, and Granger. They are going to explore musical genres from classical to jazz and everything in between. I think it's going to be a very fun program. This is the first time in 20-some years that Sunday at Central is pre presenting a saxophone quartet. So definitely something to not miss. The next one is March 12th concert, and this will be a very special one. I was asked by many of you, um, are you going to do any memorial concert for David? And uh, the board decided that this March 12th concert is going to be his memorial concert celebration. He origi originally, he scheduled to perform the G major Brahms sextet with his friends from Curtis and Juilliard. Paul Ruby from Philadelphia Orchestra, and he's been here numerous times, he will replace David. And after the concert, there will be more music, remarks, and videos. I expect that friends from his childhood from Chicago uh, High School, or from his tennis world, uh, will share some memories. Everyone is welcome. 
you can come at the concert from the beginning or just come to the, come to the second part uh, for the memorial celebration part of it. I think you might learn some interesting things during uh, the remarks, especially from his high school friends. I might learn something that I didn't know before, who knows, but uh, <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to see them here. Uh, the last concert of the season will be on May 21st. I think it was written 28th in the last program, but we moved up a week, 28th being a memorial weekend. Jeff Myers, our new artistic director, and I will play a violin piano recital. He also has a very busy schedule with his quartet, the Calido String Quartet. So we are very fortunate that he was available to perform this concert. Now next year, when he's going to plan the season, I expect that he will perform more on our series. And I'm looking forward to that. As usual, we want to thank Ohio Arts Council, the Greater Columbus Arts Council, the Columbus Foundation, Ingram White Castle Foundation, Johnston Fund for New Music, National Endowment of the Arts, and of course, all of you individual donors. We were truly overwhelmed by the number of donations we received in David's memory. I would like to thank the Broad Street Presbyterian Church for welcoming us and especially to Bill Box, who coordinated everything. He just made everything to go smoothly, easily. It was, it's just so pleasant to be here, so thank you. And lastly, of course I have to talk about money here. We rely heavily on grants and individual donations to produce free concerts. We still have the chamber pot outside, one of David's legacy, so please feel free to use it on your way out. And before we start the performance, as David used to say, reminding you to not forget to turn the cell phone back until after the performance. Thank you, enjoy.
So Bartok and Kodai had great interest in folk music, and they both traveled all over the country to collect, record melodies, and catalog them. And this became actually the beginning of a new field called ethnomusicology. So many of the composition, like the one that we just played, uh, reflect their research. Um, so now I am going to play uh, pieces by Kodai, uh, called Nine Pieces for Piano Opus 3. So he's probably more uh, known as an educationist. He published many singing and reading exercises. We call them Kodai Method, and it's widely used in schools. In fact, I didn't know that Kodai wrote piano pieces. We don't really come across his piano pieces when we are studying music in college. I actually discovered this uh, one of the pieces by chance when I played for a dance company three years ago. One of the pieces was choreographed by Martha Graham, and it was set on Kodai's piano music titled Lamentation. I thought the music and also the dance was very appealing, poignant, dramatic, and uh, later I found out that that was part of Nine Pieces for Piano Opus 3, and I thought I really have to perform that one time on the recital. So here I am. <laughs> Bartok actually performed it in 1910 in Budapest when Kodai had his first public performance. I'm not sure if it was... It was a great success, uh, but today I will play four of them. And Lamentation, it's the second piece.
Thank you. While they are setting up for the quintet, the last piece, uh, I would like to say a few words on Dahnani. So he is considered as one of the chief architects of Hungary's musical culture in the 20th century. He was a pianist, composer, conductor, teacher, and also an administrator. Bartók, Kodai, and Dohnani, they were all about the same age. Dohnani was the oldest, maybe for a couple of, uh, couple of years. And Dohnani actually acted sometimes like a mentor to Bartók. His music, uh, I would say, I want to say that his music is a little bit more kind of in a traditional manners if you compare with Bartok and Kudai, who developed really their own distinct style. So his music is heavily influenced by the German romantic music, and uh, you might hear a lot of Brahms influence in this quintet. Among his pupils, and the list is pretty impressive, you find Jano Stocker, the great cellist, Annie Fischer, a wonderful pianist, and Sir Georg Scholte, the former music director of Chicago Symphony. And of course, Dornani's grandson, Christoph von Dornani, he served many years as the music director of the Cleveland Symphony. So I hope you're gonna enjoy this quintet. Uh, I know that it, there are a lot of things going on. Thank you for coming to our concert and sharing this musical moment with us. Enjoy the music.